Well, as the county and state monitors the pandemic, scientists and medical researchers continue to learn more about COVID-19. Mayo Clinic released a new study that says younger people with psychiatric disorders are at a higher risk for severe disease or even death from this virus. ABC 6 News reporter Emily Pofall is here with us in the studio to explain more about the study. Emily. Laura, medical experts say it was clear early on that some groups of people are affected by COVID-19 more than others. For example, as we reported, older people or those with underlying health conditions. But now, health officials say another population is also at risk for severe disease. A way that we thought of this is that we were looking kind of for a flag. Um, which groups of people are going to have problems? And this was kind of our first step in identifying some of those groups. A research partnership between Mayo Clinic, Olmsted Medical Center, Olmsted County Public Health, and Zumbra Valley Health Center shows that some people under the age of 45 with psychiatric disorders are more at risk if they get COVID-19. Things like affective disorders, severe psychiatric conditions, severe developmental disorders. Um, we, we would never really expect that those would put people at an especially high risk of a more severe outcome. But according to this new research, they do. To be honest, we were, we were a little puzzled by this. But again, it was a flag and a marker for this is a group that we need to look at more carefully. While medical research points to this particular group, determining why they're at risk isn't as clear. We, we haven't been able to tease that out yet. One theory medical experts are leaning toward is congregated living. For example, living in group mental health homes where spread could be higher. Another reason is the treatments and medicines that could suppress their immune system. As research continues, experts want people with these severe disorders to understand that they could be at higher risk and must proceed with caution. I have to say that when I personally look at these data, if I have these factors and characteristics, I say, oh, okay, you know what, I'm in this group that bumps me up a little bit. And so, you know what, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. And Zumbro Valley Health Center was another partner in this research. And they say that oftentimes severe mental illness is associated with other physical health concerns, like high blood pressure or cholesterol, which can cause more severe reactions to COVID-19.